Round the ground. Round the ground after Ray Robinson take the centre tap. Be interesting to see if he does the same thing when uh, Bell Post Hill are kicking with the win. Well, we'll see in this second term as we welcome back our guest video watchers. North Geelong 3 9 27 lead. Bell Post Hill 5 behinds at quarter time. And as uh, Gus said, North Geelong kicking into the breeze in this second term now. So we'll see how they uh, how they go. We see James Naylor at centre half forward now, Gus, with them kicking into the, a bit of a breeze. Yeah, he's on Adam Martin there and... Uh, be interesting to see, watch the bounce and see where, where Ray actually goes. Yeah. He gets yeah. into full forward and well, uh, Nickel comes out in the centre half. He's up against Delzeal and they get the knockdown towards Feljack. Lewis, that's Sean, leaves the footy behind but got a free kick for a, a hold and uh, didn't have the footy so we'll move the ball from the centre of Myers Reserve. Kicking to the uh, northern end. He's looking for a lead now. Goes long towards Felb and Batty. Batty will go the... Oh, good, Mark, two in the in the uh, pack. Michael Batty. That's a fair sort of a grab, That's a that. fair grab. That is a good grab. I actually played football with Michael, and he always wanted to take the big marks, and that was the end of his game. There wouldn't be too many people around the traps who you hadn't played footy with, Gus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's true. Thanks, mate. No, said before about Showing your clubs. age now. <laughs> seven Some people. Batty. I think he knows how to kick at Mize Reserve. He does. He's put that through. Yep. We're just talking during the week and someone threw up me that I've had more clubs than Greg Norman. <laughs> I just <laughs> had a bit of a laugh at that. But yeah, young Michael there, he went down to Port Arlington for a year and he's come back and uh, he's been back for a couple of years now. But uh, I actually thought they might have given him a run in the ruck at some stage. But to see how he went. But he almost looks as though he's sort of half limp and going back there. Whether he'd done that while he was going for the mark, God, I don't know. Well, he kicked... Bell Post Hill's first goal in the first minute of the second term. They won 5-11. They trail North Geelong 3-9-27. And that's what we were just saying about uh, about the, uh, the the missed opportunities in the first term, Gus. Yeah, well, uh, you know, that might be the injection that Bell Post Hill need, whether they were negative because of the wind and, uh, as I said, played that short game. And it was, if it was set up with tactics like that, well, maybe it's a good ploy now to go long. Troy Feldman held on to there in the uh, tackle and we'll take the free kick in the middle of Myers Reserve. So just waits for something. Goes towards uh, brother Brett at half foot. Good kick too. And good lead by Brett. Takes the mark at half forward. Oh, little kick. Is it going to be okay? Measured it beautifully to uh, Brad Martin. And uh, they're staying in front of us here in the Bell Post Hill box to have a look. And that's obviously have a look at the goals. Brad Martin now. 50 out. Just needs to aim to the right-hand goal post, I would think. Just on the outside of it. Goes there. Good kick. Has so it got the distance? No, it hasn't. Robertson was back there for not too long anyway. And it's a rush behind. Both of them plays created by free kicks around the centre area there, Jason. Yep. Undisciplined there. And as far as North Geelong's concerned, they're a bit lucky there that they got off with a point instead of a goal. So, playing on from uh, full-back, David Gibbs all gets around. OK, backs himself, goes towards half-back. Harrington can't take the mark. Martin's there. Can he pick it up? No, he's on hands and knees. Needs some support. Gets it back towards Feldman. Waits for it. Kicks it high towards Hurst coming out. More so Gibbs. He just lets it run on. And is it out of bounds? No, the umpire says play on. They break away Gibbs again. Kick smothered. Now it is out of bounds. And uh, it will be a bit injury throw in. Hurry up, Jason. Yeah, OK, I'm hurrying up. It's pretty hard to commentate and uh, write scores down at the same time. I'm good. I'm not that good. Boundary throw in and goes towards Sveljak. Gibbs, blind turn, drop the footy, no free kick. Bell post till now, Sveljak gets around a couple, then gets wrapped up. Fresh air shot, comes back towards uh, Sveljak, kick off the ground's okay, Polder. But uh, Lewis is there, handball, chopped off by Naylor, who looks to be playing the same role as uh, the first term. Goes out wide towards Lewis and also Pollard wrapped up, should be a ball up at half forward. Pretty congested forward line there. Only four players in, uh, in the North Geelong forward line pass in a half forward. So thrown up. Delzeal. Naylor goes up early and gets the tap down. Needs some support in there. Still around where the umpire bounced it. Lewis. Handball chopped off. Lockwood. Handball in board towards Lewis. And he's running. Goes away. Towards a full forward, Hancock, Nickel can't take the mark and then goes to ground. Hancock keeps his feet, kicks it around the corner okay towards Matthew Lewis and he takes the mark at half back. On the outer side. He's a change of direction again. Yeah, going board towards Adam Martin. Robertson in front, can't take the mark. 
Martin's there on hands and knees, falls towards Cameron Carr, handball to Pollard. A little bit uh, lazy there, Brett, but he got it back okay. Handballed it well to Brad Martin. Handball. And now a kick towards ball. Good pick up on the half volley. Around on the left boot. Goes long towards Batty at full forward. Over the heads. And through for one behind. From the boot of uh, Damien Ball. So they go to 1-7-13. Bell post hill. North Geelong 3-9-27. And that's on the uh, GDFL Bingo Centre second quarter scoreboard. Kick in. By Gibbs to Harrington is okay. Can go wide towards Hutchinson and Naylor. Naylor uses the body well. Takes a good mark at half back. This could be his role, Gus. That was a good mark. And uh, up against the quality opposition play there, Brad Martin. Well, you heard that maybe from the umpire. Next one will be a yellow card if Corey Lockwood goes high. He went high there on Cameron Carr. Got the uh, mark at uh, centre wing and kicked it up towards half forward. Hurst couldn't take the mark. Umpire asserting his authority there, Jason. Mm -hmm. We see Malcolm Key back on the ground. Bound to the throw in. Naylor at the front. Hurst wants to get around on that right boot. Does so. Squares it up towards Batty and also Spelljack coming out. Falls. Hits uh, Tommy on the head nearly. Gibbs or handball. Chopped off. And uh, Gibbs now again. Short little kick. Good vision. To Lewis, who can run away at centre half back, takes a bounce, draws Dalziel, was going to handball, then took another bounce, then goes long towards centre half forward, coming out Nickel, Martin, Nickel up, can't take the mark. Needs some uh, players at the fall of the ball. Troy Felbin through a couple, gets it around, Burns stands, goes to the right boot now towards Pollard over his head, and Polder takes it at centre wing. Plays on quickly, little left foot kick to Keys, all right. So Malcolm Key in the middle of Myers is a short little kick to uh, Daryl Jones. Plays on quickly. And uh, needs to take a bounce now. Goes wide. And wider still. Half volley. Nickel can't pick it up. And uh, comes back in towards Martin, who has his eyes on the ball and plays on quickly. Can direct it back into towards centre half for Kazina. Got his name written on it, can't take the mark. Good roving ball, All went right. right, then went left. Was going to handball, then kicked it around the corner to Jack, and Tommy takes the mark. That's good great diving play. mark and good play ball. Yep, excellent play. He had uh, Troy Feldman there. He tried to draw the man to him, but the bloke didn't come straight to him, and he centred the kick around his left foot in between two plays and hit and uh, hit the mark with Tommy Savelchak. So Thomas Feljack from about uh, 25 metres at 45 degree angle. Tommy loves the goal and will love that one. Straight through the middle. Through the high diddle diddle. So Feljack kicks his first. And the second for Bell Post Hill. They're 2-7-19. And they trail North Geelong 3-9-27 on the GDFL Bingo Centre second quarter scoreboard. We've been playing six and one half minutes. And uh, as we said... A couple of quick goals, and yep. it's got him back in the match. Back in the game. Interesting note there, North Geelong went down and crowded uh, Bell Post Hill's forward line. When the ball was turned over, every North Geelong bloke run forward. Then it created a turnover across half back there, and um, the Bell Post Hill guys were, were back behind. Made it a little bit easier on the turnover. Mm -hmm. Used the ball better. And Spelljack finished it off with a goal for the Panthers. Robertson will do the ruck work again against Dalziel. Umpire throws it up. Delzeal gets it down. Picked off the pack there by Pollard. Through was uh, Polder. Couldn't take it with him. Knocked off the footy Jones. Spelljack back in there again. It was a push, was it, or a hold? And a free kick to Spelljack. Just on the defensive side of centre wing on the outer side. Go back in board towards centre half. Ford Feldman uses the body well and takes a good mark. Plays on quickly. Wants to get something moving. Goes one out towards Batty. And, uh, oh, good mark. Was it? No. Play on the call. Hannison back there on him now. He's wrapped up, loses the footy, and good umpiring because he not afraid to pay a free kick in front of goal. And good it was a good tackle. There. Yeah, good recovery. I bet he thought he was going to take the mark running back. He worked uh, Hannison under the ball too well, yep. and uh, but then just couldn't hang on to the mark. But has the kick. And this to make the difference, two points. Interesting one there for the stack board. Another free quick kick across the centre there. Yeah, it is Feljack, to go, yeah. To go to Bell Post Hill to put him down... At, about down the forward line again. And I don't know what the problem is out there, Jason, but these guys are kicking absolutely woeful. <laughs> That's another one of them uh, 
25, 30 metre ones out. Yeah, and uh, Bell Post Hills now 2, 8, 20. North Geelong 3, 9, 27. So seven points of difference on the GDFL Bingo Centre second quarter scoreboard. Don't forget Gus and I will be giving three, two and one votes for the Beaumont's Pies and Cakes guest video player of the day this afternoon. And we see David Gibbs kicking in now from fullback for North Geelong short to Tajani. He takes the mark, plays on quickly. Gives it back to Gibbs, who ran off from fullback. Goes long towards uh, that's Daniel Gibbs. Push over the back. Hurst can tap it back, but only as far as Walsh. Good pick up, too, by the youngster. Goes long towards Naylor and Martin. Martin got a hand to it. Now it's a foot race. And uh, coming back there also in support was Cameron Carr, floater towards Feldman. And also Maletto. Handball over the top to Troy Feldman. That's okay. Short little right foot kick towards brother Brett. And uh, the Feldmans have got to ears, I think, the way they're going. He done well. That's twice at uh, Brett's hit, Troy. Kick in board towards centre half forward. Pollard tries to tap it towards the advantage of ball. David Gibbs stands there. Got some support from Dejani. Kicks it straight down the throat of Brett Feldman and picked him out because he saw him. But uh, couldn't do much with the kick. And Brett Feldman is uh, telling players to get out of the four line, move it around a bit. At half forward he is. Too short there. He goes wide he goes towards the, the ball. Good mark. Had to be right there, Jason. It was two on one. Yep. Kicked it to a contest with two on one, so the kick had to be right when he had two standing in the corridor there by themselves. Ball kicks it. Holds up in the breeze a bit. Sveljak from behind. Robertson against Martin. Kick off the ground. Tommy put the foot in. Can't do that, Tom. I think he's seen a soccer post uh, through the trees. <laughs> it's <a> long ranges. <laughs> Wrong colours. <laughs> but it's going to be a free kick. And it's coming back into the last line defence. And we'll go to Tajani. Goes short towards Mark Walsh. Takes it on the chest in front of Hurst. Was going to play on. Now we'll wait for a lead. Hasn't got much up the field. Once uh, Key gives him a lead. Then Lewis, he goes wide towards Lewis. And also it was uh, Daniel Gibbs. He took the mark. Goes towards centre wing. Martin sands his ground to the mark. So Adam, Mar Adam Martin on centre wing. Goes long towards ball. And, oh, good mark coming across the pack also. And uh, that was uh, Brad Martin. Plays on quickly. Goes long into the teeth of goal. Batty from behind. Can't take the mark. Push through for a rush behind the bell post hill. Interesting to note, well, Bell Post still have been pushing forward here. Stewie Marty, Sid Jones and, and Mark Burns have, have been very quiet. And uh, maybe that's got something to do with it. Yeah, three uh, catalysts for uh, midfield drive for the Magpies. It's 2-9-21 to 3-9-27. The Magpies by a goal in the second term of the GDFL match of the day. Kick in by Gibbs towards centre half and towards half uh, forward for Bell Post Hill. Lewis on hands and knees, wrapped up by a couple of Panthers and the up high will come in and bounce the ball. And uh, Lewis gets up off the pack. Robertson to do the ruck work against Del Zeal again. Up early, Robertson. Both ruckmen unable to get a clear tap. Ball gets quick kick away, Sveljack. Kick off the ground by uh, Gibbs. Hutchinson, all wrapped up by a couple of Panthers and dropped the footy. Close to the boundary. Hurst breaks a tackle, then gets wrapped up. On hands and knees was a Batty. Good contest yes. there. Yep, four magpies around him, making sure he wasn't going anywhere, the big full forward. And will be another ball up in the left forward pocket for the Panthers. Robertson with a big right fist thump straight to the North Geelong coach's box. And the boundary umpire will have a bit of work to do now. 2-9 to 3-9. The Magpies still by a goal, but uh, Bell Post still with mostly attacking in this second term. Robertson to the front of the pack. Jones straight through, as, you, as Gus said. Need to see a bit more of him for North Geelong. Feldman takes a good mark. That's Troy. A two-tipper. Goes towards Delziel. Straight through Gibbs. Dropped the footy and then backed it up. Good play. Got it back. Goes with the right boot towards Lockwood. Key over the back. Discipline play. Gets it to the front. Martin, that's Adam. Pushes it on towards Pollard. Handball quickly to Chris Ball. Left foot kick wide. Beautiful ESP to brother Damien. And he goes with the left boot back into... Oh, good kick to Sveljak. Like the skills on him. He looks all right, doesn't he? He's uh, little Tommy be liking it. He's uh, <laughs> been hit twice <laughs> right on the midfield. <laughs> hit him on the chest. 
The only thing he can complain about is it might have been lace up. I don't know. <laughs> Tommy and loves a goal too. and has pushed it through for another yeah. one. Yeah, great skills there. Good work by the uh, the other brother, Chris. Chris Ball, yeah, uh, to do the hard work and get it to his. I don't know which one's the oldest. <laughs> Couldn't <laughs> tell you, mate. Twins. <laughs> Couldn't tell you, but it's uh, all locked That's up it. now. And uh, he played straight on and went straight for Tommy. I just noticed there's something I was trying to work out. Uh, well, I think Sid Jones and Jimmy Nala might be changing centre half forward after Ray Robinson does the ruck. Right. Although Robertson's been running around the ground, but I think Nala and uh, Sid have changed and sent our forward. So it's 3.927 apiece here at Myers Reserve on the GDFL Bingo Centre second term scoreboard. And uh, Jones in there against Valjack, Dale Zeal against Robertson, Hutchinson and Adam Wash in there also for North Geelong. Pollard and Brad Martin. Robertson over the top. Can't get an effective tap. Goes towards uh, Haby on hands and knees. Martin gets it to Matthew Lewis. Kick partly smothered. Goes to Pollard. Gets around Lewis. Goes to the left boot. Torpedo towards Feldman. Takes a good mark at half forward. His pace is very deceptive, isn't it? it? Is. He's got a bit of quickness about him. Kicks in board. Hanson reads that well. I think Michael Bell got to lead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot he was at full forward. Probably thought he was at full back. Hanuson <laughs> gets it a wide to Jones. He takes the mark in front of Sean Lewis and then plays on. Left foot kick around the corner. Played for a little bit of a free kick there, Sydney. Didn't get it. And uh, Burns got one high, but no free kick. Tapped it out. Only the advantage of Matthew Lewis. Gets around a couple. Good play. Goes with the right boot long. Two out. Batty from behind, waiting for the off the pack. Has to kick the one out. And does. He read that absolutely he perfect. He could have went for the ride and had, had the big sit over the pack. And he just... Uh, he just waited for the ball to come over the back there and read it pretty well and snagged it through. Let his player go for it. And yeah, just yep. uh, set off the back and really had to kick it then. Two and on did. one contest there. So two to Batty and two to Spelljack have given Bell Post Hill the lead. They're 4-9-33. They lead North along 3-9-27 on the GDFL Bingo Centre second quarter scoreboard. 18 and a half minutes gone in the second term. Bit of... Uh, Experience there by Sid trying to get a free kick or another. Yeah. Towards the latter stages of my career, every time I knew I was out of a contest, I always played for a free kick. <laughs> so, uh, unfortunately, on that occasion, didn't work for uh, Sydney. And it ended up in a goal. Good play by Matthew Lewis. Down at half forward, running off the half back skills. line. Yep, getting around a couple of magpies. So, it'll be Del Seal and now Naylor in the ruck. Robertson at centre-half forward. Naylor gets it two towards Robertson. And uh, Robo can't get rid of it. And is bottled up. We'll have a secondary bounce inside the centre square. Just on the attacking side for the Magpies. Big pack around the ball. Dalziel. Naylor up early. Gets a tap down again. To Walsh. Handball to himself. And Selfies gets a here in a black running pass. Kick around the corner. Only as far as Troy fell open at half-back. Got Pollard wide. Lex, though, to go further afield towards centre-half forward. To make up a bit of ground there was Martin. You can't take a mark third in line in that occasion. And Tijani in front takes the mark at half-back. Switches play to Hutchinson at centre-half back. Plays on quickly to Jones. Good handball. And Jones takes a bounce. Needs something upfield. Polder gives it to him. He goes in that direction. Measures the pass. Polder takes a good overhead mark at half-forward. Now needs something further afield. Key gives him a lead now in the forward line. He goes further, though, towards Robertson. Nickel from behind. Push, hold. Yep, to Robertson. The umpire's got good eyes and a look closer than us. And Robertson's got the free kick. The advantage of being 6'3", 6'4", in a contest. Well, it makes it easy, doesn't it? And uh, it was against Martin who's standing the mark. That's Adam. So Ray Robertson to, again, square the ledger. Kicking from 30 metres out. Comes in, gets underneath it a bit, but I think it might be okay. And he's just missed it to the near side. Yep. Just interesting there, a uh, bit undisciplined by Brad Martin trying to mark three in a row, or third back in line as you called it, which he was. Could have punched the ball, it might have made a difference. Ball's gone down, Ray could have kicked the goal, and uh, could have just been from just one little minor thing, but it can create a lot when it goes like that. So it's North Geelong 3 10 28. They trail well post till 4 9 33, five points of difference. Matty Lewis to do the kicking once again. He will go straight down the middle, all towards half back. Martin and Feldman over the back. That's Troy. Play on. A couple of hands to it before him. Kazina wrapped up by Bellow. Held to him. Umpire Allenson says it's mine. We'll have a ball up at half forward. 
for the Magpies. So Robertson coming across to the ruck work. Naylor sitting back. He and Martin go up. Pack develops again. We've got two Martins, two balls and two Melbourne's playing. Yeah, it's a bit, uh, <laughs> bit tricky. Get the first names mixed up. And as I said before, I got caught. I didn't know which was the oldest of the balls. So, but uh, they were obviously having a ball, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Good work. <laughs> Robertson against Adam Martin. Once again, big thump by Raymond. Goes towards Brett Lewis in the boundary line. Brett wins and then, oh, just drops it over the boundary. Kazina right next to him. And also Chris Ball. So that'll be a boundary throw in. And half forward for the Magpies. And doing the ruck work, Robertson and Martin. Robbo with a couple of extra inches against Martin there. Takes it out of the ruck on this occasion, then drops the footy. Doing his own roving work. Gets it towards Bellow, who uh, misses it. Kazina, short little handball. Was going to go to Lewis. Then it went towards Brad Martin. Handball over the top. Jones, reads the play well. Needs some support. Got Tajani with it. And kicks in the corner. Chris Ball has called it and has taken a good mark. Under a bit of pressure there in the end from Walsh. Handball to Matty Lewis. Onto the left boot. Goes long towards centre wing. Bevan Hurst can't take the mark. Good fly. It's over the back of the pack. Corey Lockwood can run away. Get on the left now on the right. Was going to handball. Then kicked over the top to Zajani. You're OK. He takes the mark. So one youngster to another. Dave Dejani will take it now. On centre wing. Short little kick to another young man. Daryl Jones. Yeah, very shifty. He, just, <laughs> he walked through between... Young Lockwood and the bloke on his mark and just pushed himself out into a space as he got there. He's called the ball. Well, he got it towards Adam Walsh and Mark Burns, and Mark Burns has taken the free kick for a high tackle. Gets it back to Daryl Jones again. Can he get around Pollard? He gets his kick away. Goes towards Walsh, standing in front and taking a good mark as Chris Ball. Not unlike John Blakey looking for me. He does look a bit like him too. <laughs> yes, he does. He's got the one glove on. So he goes now from Mannerisms uh, in the kick and the run. Half back, goes towards Troy Felbin. Good mark. Takes it in the pack, plays on quickly. Goes towards Brother Brett again at centre half forward. Over his head, needs some run. Damien Ball's there. And Lewis, he tapped on beautifully, did he? He could kick away as well. Kick by Gibbs. Kick by Gibbs, Gibbs He's yeah. done well because there's three of them swimming on it. And the defence there got it to the safety of the boundary line, about uh, 30 metres around. And uh, we'll have a boundary throw in with the Panthers attacking. They lead 4 9 33, North Geelong 3 10 28. Late stage of the second term. North Geelong falling down there across half four. They've come up a few times, just falling down. I'd be almost inclined to bring Rory Nichols down, centre half forward, put Robbo back at full forward. Ball comes to Feldman from that uh, ruck contest. That was Brett. And it came from Mick Illick, who's on the ground, but one behind. So it's. Uh, Back to a goal, the difference. It's 4-10-34, playing 3-10-28. The Panthers, a goal in front. Short little kick by Gibbs is OK to Hutchinson in the left back pocket. Goes back towards Gibbs, draws a play. That's Maletto. And takes a bounce at half back. Kick partly smothered by Pollard. Corey Lockwood gets around for a couple, gets his head ripped off. And uh, he will take the free kick at half back. When you're reasonably short, you're going to try and run yeah. through packs with bigger blows. You're going to come around it. Yeah, you're going to get a free kick at two for two high. Only got one. Robertson has to uh, stand and wait. Then Key in support, a little bit high, and Malcolm Key will take it. Handball off to Hutchinson. The umpire shepherds for him beautifully, and he gets around, goes into his left boot, stands there taking the mark. Is Stewie Marnie? His handball over the top towards Jones. It sits for him nicely. The skipper. Works rate's been better in the last 10 minutes. Onto the left boot, goes towards half forward. Couple there for North Geelong. But the but the Panther defence work hard to get it towards the boundary line. Habe, Stewie Marnie there also. Lewis, and they do see it over the boundary line now at 50. And good play. We see Pollard coming off with uh, a nice little gash. Obviously a head clash there. And Hurst coming back on. In that uh, tackle at half back. Just a couple of moments ago. Boundary throw in now at half forward on the outer side. For Bell Post Hill. Punch away by Robertson towards Burns. The Panther defence working over time to bottle it up. They do so. Matthew Lewis in there. Getting off the bottom of the pack. Once again, Mark Burns. Not unusual to see him there. Coming up from the bottom. <laughs> so thrown up once again. Dalziel. 
Neither Ruckman get an effective tap. Lewis put Cameron Carr under the hammer. He got a handball away towards the boundary line. Can Brad Martin keep it in? Yes, he can. And then he concedes uh, some ground because he kicks it out of bounds on the full. And it will be a free kick at half forward on the outer side for North Geelong. And Stewie Marnie to take it. 3-10 playing 4-10. Bell Post still with the goal advantage. Close to half time. Stewie Marnie now. Kicks towards uh, half forward. Robertson up or in the middle. Nickel couldn't take the mark. Quick kick away by Robertson. Troy Feldman leads in the race to the footy. Needs a shepherd. Got a bit of a shepherd from Hurst. Can't pick the footy up though. And uh, just wants to safety the boundary line now against Lewis. But he hassled him well and now can pick it up. Get around a couple then wrapped up by Troy Feldman. Good second effort by him. Comes back. And uh, Gibbs was in there also. Feldman, good handball. Kick though by Delzeal, partly smothered. Lockwood runs onto it. The little man, short little kick. Goes towards Polter, uses the body well. Gets around, little left foot kick. Goal. Good play. Good skillful play, Matthew Polter. Very good skill because he only had one, one and a half steps to kick that ball and he had a bloke hanging off him. So he's done well there to drop it to the boot and put it through. It's got North Geelong back closer to the mark. And looks like we're going to go an even... Pretty even at half time. North Geelong a 4-10-34, and that's exactly what Bell Post still are as well. 4-10-34 on the GDFL Bingo Centre second quarter scoreboard. And that uh, was the first goal for Matthew Polder. And cool. just used the body well. Our technical director's a little bit cold. He's got the suede jacket on, but he's still cold. With a big seagull stain right on the back. You can tell they paid good money with this one. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to get on the same contract as him, I think. <laughs> I'm just wearing the old rip curl jumper and you're on the suede jacket. Jeez. Delzeal, Robertson. Oh. Rags at the car range. <laughs> <laughs> Sveljack gets away from the middle. Little Tommy goes towards Ball. And Daniel Gibbs in there with Walsh. Pushed back towards Hanuson. Goes towards Key. The experienced Malcolm runs away with the left boot. Goes towards Lewis and can take the mark in front of Delzeal. From the defensive side of the centre, goes towards Marnie. It sits up for him. Haby from behind. Can't take the mark. Cameron Carr roves. Goes under the right boot towards half forward. Measures the pass beautifully towards Damien Ball. Plays on quickly. Handball to Maletto. Goes under the left foot. Kick towards Sveljack. Bellow coming at it. Sveljack did well in the end. He had to back back. Handball from Key to Lewis. Breaks away. Handball again to Walsh. That's Mark. And at half back. Kicks it long towards the wing. Polder, Naylor, pack develop, car in front. Not claim, not taking the mark. Play on now. Gets around on the left boot. Smothered. Scrappy little passage of play on centre wing. Both teams fighting hard for it. Comes out the back now. Hurst in a foot race. With, uh, oh, does well there was Corey Lockwood. Got it to to Adam Walsh, to Mark Burns. Was going to handball it back to Polder. Went on the left boot. Long towards goal. And has just hit the post. So Burns. Well, Geelong are just up the ante, and, and you notice that the guys that we spoke about earlier, halfway through the quarter, have started to get into it a little bit and just pushed North quarter a few more times. They moved the ball better. So they take the the lead for 11:35 North Geelong. Bell post still 4:10:34. Matthew Lewis plays on from fullback. We've seen him and Gibbs do that on a number of occasions this afternoon. Oh, Nicoly was going to go back onto the uh, right, then goes on the left. Paul kick in the end. Lewis can't to grab it though. It's going to fall out of the back. Feldman can keep it in now. He can't. A bit stiff for the bounce here. <laughs> Met the ball first. And, uh, and it will be a boundary throw in. Oh, boy, Phil, come on, on yeah. between, in between wing and half forward for the Magpies. Umpire Allenson just asking everybody on the bench to move back. Delzeal and Robertson. Robertson with a big right fist towards Lewis and Troy Felber now. Takes a bounce. On the left boot. Wobbly kick towards the elite. Can't take the mark. And out of bounds. And half forward now for the Panthers. Close to siren time. For half time. Interesting move by Troy Feldman there. He picked the ball up, ran two steps and out of bounds in a patching pack situation. That's pretty confident. <laughs> Bounty throw in. Robertson with the Right arm um, again towards Walsh. Dropped the footy. No free kick. Lockwood, good play by him. Oh, he's nearly going to go the wrong way by the looks of it. Kicked it up in the air. That might not be any 10. So the big pack developed. Play on. No 10. And the umpire will have to come in and bounce it now. So umpire Allenson. John Blakey looking like Gus. Yep. You picked him. Chris Ball. You saw him run back there. Blakey like. Hurst now. Gibbs. 
Pack again. Umpire Allenson will come in and bounce it once again. So it's 4 11 playing 4 10. North Geelong up by one behind. Delzeal, who's rocked unchanged this afternoon for Bell Post still so far. Robertson go up. Robertson gets it down. Rove this time by Hurst. Kick partly smothered. Still a pack develops. And the umpire will come in and bounce it again. Don't be too surprised if he tries to pick a free out now just to break this play up. We've had three bounces in a row. Big pack around it. Delzeal. Robertson goes up. Thump away. Walsh to Lewis. Kick around the corner. It's all bell post tilt. Matty Lewis. And there is the siren for half time in the GDFL match of the day, round five. And it sees bell post tilt 4 34 and North Geelong 4 35. In that term, bell post tilt kicked four goals, five. And North Geelong kicked one goal, two. And uh, both teams just having a little bit of trouble kicking straight, Gus, in the yeah. first half. Well, they have two quarters, two different quarters. I mean, North Geelong was probably... The first quarter was simultaneously done by Bell Post Hill in the second quarter. And, uh, yeah, they've just pushed the ball forward and uh, no, no goals or not a real <laughs> lot of goals and plenty of points. So, But, um, strangely enough, it's not been done by pressure. A lot of them are from set kicks. And, uh, I don't know, in this day and age of footy, I mean, to win games there, you're really vital to put them ones through. We've seen a couple miss Matty Polden in, in the first quarter with North Geelong there, and then we've seen Bell Post Hill, Batty and... I think Batty twice in that quarter, I think, might have, might have missed from close-up. So uh, it can be costly at the end of the day. And the way the game is at the moment, with the closeness, closeness, closeness of it, it um, yeah, you can tell at the end of the day. Well, it's 4-11 playing 4-10. The goal kicks in that first half for North Geelong. Singles to Matthew Polder, Daryl Jones, Stewie Marnie, Rory Nickel. Well, for Bell Post, still two to Michael Batty and two to Tom Sveljak, both in that second term. So it's a point of difference at half-time. North Geelong 4-11 leading Bell Post, still 4-10. We'll be back with all this. Second, second half action after this on Guest Video and 94.